is up everybody Bo here from BZ Hub as you know because you're on the BZ Hub channel um, I thought it would be cool just to kind of go through get to know me a little bit um, a little bit because uh, I thought it would be neat to go through our my studio my studio because I am a designer as you know I work in my office all day long and I also do all the YouTube stuff in here as well so maybe if you're an aspiring youtuber or you just want to see if we have anything in common um, and talk about it during Switch, Twitch or something like that, then uh, then maybe this video will help, and I think it'd just kind of be fun. But if not, if you're not into this, if you have no interest at all, then just, just move on to the next video, because I'm sure the next video will be about the Hunters. So just go ahead and do that. <laughs> I'm going to switch the camera around so we can uh, point at stuff and talk about it, and uh, yeah, let's do it. Start here, um, just my desk set up here, as you can see, I've got a tangle of wires down there next to LaForge. Everyone who's on Instagram, who follows the BZ Hub Instagram knows LaForge, as I was uh, putting photos on there, showing off me building and everything. Um, all of my wallpapers on my screen are photos that I've taken. These were in uh, Zambia, so that, that's uh, some of my African photos there. I do have a uh, Logitech G910 here as my keyboard, and I have a G502 Logitech mouse there and a SteelSeries mouse pad. I'll have to put um, links to all this stuff in the description, just if you want to see the kind of stuff I use. Uh, microphone, cannot remember what it's called. Can we see it? Oh, Audio-Technica something. <laughs> so I'll put a link to that. Um, I'm sure I'll check my receipts or something like that. Uh, I have an Anchor. Uh, phone charger there just so I can set my phone there if I'm working for hours and hours and hours. Um, I have that thing down there, Behringer, to uh, you know take all the signal I guess from the microphone and put it into my computer. Um, I have a few lights. I don't have any professional lights set up for my streams but that's just kind of what I'm using right now. Um, I have some Bluetooth headphones I rarely use now that I'm all by myself in my house. I have this kind of random thing to use if I'm bored. I guess, ah, got it. And a fan, which I use in the summer. So that's that kind of handles all that. Sweet disc, d disc, decals on this closet here. Um, I think anyway, they were like five bucks. I was like, heck yeah, I love Mario. Um, here we go, bunch of random stuff here. I'm a huge Fallout fan. Um, I played all the Fallouts, love Fallout. Um, I have a bunch of random stuff. As far as Fallout is there, got a power fist here, got the plasma rifle and the plasma pistol down there. Um, got a bunch of pens and different uh, brushes, brush pens and whatnot. Um, sketchbook there. I was doing a project. I was going to put Bjorn's face on a milk bone box just to show some packaging stuff. Bunch of random stuff I just keep right there. Coldplay, huge Coldplay fan. Been to a couple of different concerts for Coldplay. Um, have a skull here and an old Stoger catalog. If you've ever seen these Stoger catalogs, pull this out real quick. These are awesome. They're old, old catalogs where you could order guns and stuff like that. Let's see if we can find a price. Yeah, $55 back in the day. <laughs> they used to have some really, in the beginnings, they would have big advertising. This is back in the day where illustrators were doing really well. They had to, you know, act, someone actually had to paint and draw all these guns and stuff like that. And it's really cool to see these old, old stuff here. You can see the model, model 81, high power auto loading rifle. Got some bears there. Oh, you can picture yourself shooting some bears. And down here you can see the price. Standard grade, $129. And then you can get a Premier for $575. In the very beginning, they used to have a bunch of uh like double barrel like the 470 and whatnot and he used to have a bunch of engravings and and stuff but i guess that's uh must be in a different catalog i know my dad has one that's a 1950 edition anyway his is a bit it has a big tiger on the front and then it has stuff on it um some old mouse skulls rat skulls you can go find like a barn owl or something like that if it's up in a barn somewhere you can get some of that stuff old game boy advance some medals just some stuff there. Um, Predator comic books. I have every Predator comic book that they've ever come out with. I was a huge Predator fan. Came out and got all those. I have some Turok comics, but I haven't collected all of those. Um, just some stuff there. Bunch of random stuff down here. Old picture, Naval ROTC and whatnot in college. Um, let's see, 
bunch of comic books. Used to have every like trade paperback of Deadpool. I was a huge Deadpool fan in co college, and I worked at a comic shop, so I got all those. Big Batman fan as well. Loved Batman. Some random stuff. Um, like Batman, love Deadpool, Wolverine. A um, bunch of random stuff here comes in handy sometimes. And then a bunch of art books. Have a bunch of art books. Art of Fallout, um, Destiny, a bunch of some Pixar movies and stuff. Have some old sketchbooks here. You can tell they're old. You got duct tape on the freaking binding just to hold them together. Some old PC games, Xbox games, old uh, Adam Vinatieri signed hat. I got a whole story behind there. Um, and then I got these. All from the uh, the maker of uh, the Jurassic World uh, freaking like zoo game, I guess. So it is a Jurassic World Evolution, something something like that. Um, yeah, got all those. I answered a question right, and they sent me all these stuffed dinosaurs. It's crazy. They're worth like two hundred and fifty dollars now. It's it's ridiculous how much people pay for those special edition dinosaurs. Got a Geralt of Rivia statue I got for my brother this Christmas. Some old Warcraft figure. This is from the original set of Warcraft figures. And then this is a uh, Vindicator Maraud, um, one of the original prototypes. It's the only original prototype I know of, actually. But, um, yeah, of his figure. Some random stuff. That's Bjorn when I was in college, sculpted that. And then um, I was showing off kind of an idea I had for a bear sculpture. And then 3D printed Batman there. Some cool stuff, um, randomly. Yeah, if you walk into my office, this is kind of just where I keep all my random stuff. I have my keys and a spoon. You need to have your office spoon. Everyone needs an office spoon. Um, calendar, where if I would put <laughs> ideas on there and keep track of it, I would. Old, uh, these are all the projects I've, I've worked on since I've been here, my God. Uh, some old design stuff, an old boot I did in college, and then some other random stuff through the years, got my college degree there, and then uh, I got my camera from wildlife photography and whatnot, some old frames for photos I've never framed, a uh, bag and some random jackets and clothes, and, and here's an old sketch bag with some sketchbooks and a cutting board for an X-Acto knife. These are actually the, um, kind of the original like concept sketches for my Twitch overlay, so that's kind of cool have a futon here I just kind of if I lay on if I'm getting kind of tired or something like that I'll lay on it um got my 12 point buck up here I was planning on putting some shelves here so I haven't I, I don't know what to do with the rest of my deer antlers and whatnot but I at least have my 12 point buck up there and then I have this cool guy that I bought at a store I don't remember where but yeah pretty neat pretty neat and that's I mean that's basically it I do have this cool rabbit x chair that I bought on sale it was like 50 percent off and it was still like 140 dollars at the time so very expensive but it's a nice chair and i enjoy it and sometimes you gotta let yourself have some luxuries so that's pretty much it i mean i've been wanting to do this kind of video just to kind of put it out there just to say hey you know this is a little bit about me i know you watch my videos all the time but uh i know i know you watch my videos all the time no i'm kidding um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Something I was working on, I guess I forgot to mention it. These, uh, these stickers here, I am planning on putting out some, some BZ Hub stickers to give out to people on stream. If you're, if you're helping out or something like that, you can, uh, hopefully win a sticker or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. But, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the whole like studio area and everything. <laughs> You may see like this angle because that's um, that's where my webcam is. But uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you found this fun. Maybe you um, maybe you have some common interests and we can talk about it in a stream or something like that. Or um, you can comment in the description or something like that. We can we can chat about it. Get on Discord. We can chat about whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Little bit. <sighs> anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I've already said that, but uh, as always, you know the rest. Like and subscribe as usual, and we'll catch you in the next video, of course. Some more Hunter, The Hunter, Call of the Wild, all that stuff. <laughs> See you later, everyone.